stuck with that one. Now, news this week from across the channel is that married couples in France could end up with criminal records for insulting each other during arguments. Now, under the new law, psychological violence, they're calling it, within marriage will be banned. Uh, the law's expected to cover every kind of insult, including repeated rude remarks about a partner's appearance, false allegations of infidelity, and threats of physical violence. Fair enough, I think. So uh, how hard do you find it rowing with your partner to not get too personal, to not be nasty to them? Well, we've only had um, two and a half rows in 18 two and months. <laughs> yeah, one wasn't really a row because we were drunk. So when you're drunk, oh, it doesn't yeah. count really because you're just, you know, you're just... <laughs> <laughs> and then you never remember what it's about anyway. But um, no, do you know what? I, I can't. I can't get personal in, in rows. I just... You know, I know everybody has got their sort of Achilles heel, something that you know you can say or attack and it will hurt them. But quite why you'd want to deliberately, even if you're in a really, really bad mood or a temper or, or anything, why would you want to deliberately really hurt somebody that you were in love with? And I, I wouldn't do it. I mean, it would always probably be at the back of my mind, but... I wouldn't do it, and I have to say, I, I don't think I've ever done it in my whole life. Well, mm -hmm. Was there anybody else you no. haven't ever done it? I think probably once, but even then it wasn't, it wasn't a personal attack. It was just something based on truth that I knew they didn't want to hear. You know, that's it. I won't go and say what it is, but it, it, and it was something that was true. You'd, that you'd, give, you'd tell them what you think, but it wouldn't be nasty. See, yeah, but, some nasty, but sometimes, but sometimes you really? really? do that. Well, because I think, because you know that your your partner's Achilles heel, you know what buttons to press, <gasps> and because you want to win a row, there's no point having a row if you don't want to kind of win it, in my opinion. <laughs> Well, you know, because you, ah! you're right. That's why you're having a row, isn't it? Because you go, no, you're wrong, it. I'm right. It's not about winning, though, is it? It's about resolving Yes, but, you know, we, Eamon and I are both quite fiery, so I think it depends on the couple. We're both quite fiery, so we will say things in a row that are quite mean and nasty. Ooh, how and mean? I know what no, would upset him, horrible. and he knows what, you know, my vulnerable points or things that I would hate him saying about me. But then, actually, it's forgotten, so we don't dwell on it. I don't salt for days. And almost there's a safety in the fact that because we both do it, it's almost like you can go, yeah, there, and it's done because he knows I don't really mean it, and I know he doesn't really mean ah, it. Ah, but you see, that's the fear, isn't it? It's where it, it's it, out there. It's yeah, it's out there, and it's another time when somebody said, but you said two weeks ago that I'm a da 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 da, -da. Mm. and it's the coming back, you know. I mean, I I hate it, and I used to have a really bad temper, a real red mist, and um, and then lose it completely and not know what I've said. You know, just screaming, screaming, hitting, mm. throwing, you know, televisions, doorposts, <laughs> cars. <laughs> what was your, your, your husband, husband was, or ex-husband, well, not quite ex-husband, yeah. but he was quite controlling, it seems. So did yes. you find that, that, that you know, I, obviously what they're talking about, this is quite serious, I and mean, we're looking at the lighter side of it. Yeah. But, you know, it's psychological abuse and things within a relationship. It is a, a form of domestic violence. That's what they're saying. It's a form of domestic uh, violence. But it can really affect a person if somebody yes. you think is is being mean to you. It's kind I of think if you're with somebody damage. who is controlling and that they can stand there and watch you lose your temper and smile, mm. then I think that can bring that out of mm. you. And I, don't, I defy anybody not to, to come back at somebody who would do that to you. Jane, are you, well, a, it's, are it's, you a shouter? It, it, a... Well, no, because I don't like confrontation and I would rather talk it out. But there is nothing worse than walking on eggshells every day. I think sometimes you have to confront yeah. and get it out in the open, whatever is, is bugging you. But would you be mean? I wouldn't would be you? mean about no. it, no. I, I just don't think that's in my nature. And I have had, done to you? Oh, God, yeah. I had this one partner who used to just wind me up just yeah. to get a reaction mm -hmm. from me. And I used to think that is the worst thing you can do because that's not in my nature. And he used to just dig and dig yeah. and dig until I would just lose it with him. And he'd say, you see, I knew I'd get a reaction and then I could kill him. For that but you can't be around people like that i mean no. i've had people in my life like that and you know it, it just it's so stressful it really does give you proper stress and mm. and you have to get rid of them and but even so even when they would wind me up to the point of you know explosion i still would never say anything really really well, you're right, horrible. Horrible. You're you're right right though. what you need to do no, you need can't. to remove people from your life who make you like yeah, that you do. and that's yeah. what i did you just remove yeah, you them do. and you're never around them again and it I mean, am i the only mean one here I'm the no, Amen. but you're both being together. Darling, you know that thing I said to you this morning? That really... <laughs> <laughs> she does love hey, you. taking a break now. <laughs>